Welcome to Thunderstruck and happy homecoming. We will have complete coverage of all the festivities surrounding homecoming one week from today. This week was also Deaf Awareness Week, and our ASL students honored the Deaf community by remaining silent and only communicating through sign language on Monday. We spoke to ASL teacher Ms. Macias, so let's go to that report now. I'm here with Ms. Macias, the ASL teacher at YHS. What is Deaf culture? Uh, deaf culture is common shared beliefs. Uh, deaf people grew up different ways, and we learn about that during this week. So thank you. Okay, what is uh, Deaf Awareness Week? So Deaf Awareness Week is a week where it's really focused on uh, deaf rights, deaf education, uh, deaf access to education, uh, deaf access to different places, you know, concerts and different things like that. Okay, why is it important to show awareness? It is really important to know and understand deaf culture because many don't understand deaf culture and it's really important to know about the deaf and their perspective. Okay, thank you. The most important club on campus in terms of school spirit is the Thunder Squad, a club devoted to having fun at the games which is run by Casey Harmon and Ethan Bunch. Let's find more about the squad now. Casey, what is Thunder Squad and how do you join? So Thunder Squad is a group of people where we all get together and hype up all of our sports. And to join, you can just come up to the ASB room and send me your number and I can add you to our remind text. All right, and what other events do you have other than the football games? So we can go to any of the sport events, so volleyball, basketball, anything that we want to to make sure that we hype up everyone. All right, and what is your process for getting hyped up before games? So some games we have a tailgate before, which is usually at like 6, and we just listen to fun music and just do whatever we want to have fun. All right, thank you. <laughs> Are you vegan or interested in trying vegan dishes? Well, you're in luck. Come to Q101 on October 2nd at both a and lunches for a vegan potluck. Be there or be square. And now to Macy with sports. Thanks, Myla. In water polo, check out this dramatic sequence of events from our recent tournament. It's tied in the last quarter, 7-7, when YHS goalie Mitchell Carpenter makes a save on a desperation shot by the opposing goalie. He then returns the favor and scores a buzzer-beater game-winning goal that travels the entire length of the pool in order to get to its destination. Amazing. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I was taking a bath Long about a Saturday night yeah. Rubbed up just relaxing in the tub Thinking everything was alright Well, I stepped out the tub I put my feet on the floor I wrapped the towel around me And I opened the door And in a splish splash I jumped back in the bath Well, how was I to know There was a party going on There was a splishing and a splash Reeling with the feeling Moving and a groove And rocking Splash, I forgot about the bath. I went and put my dancing shoes on, yeah. That's all for Thunderstruck. Tune in next week for our retrospective on Homecoming 2019.